tell us, is it okay that I constantly break this game in the weirdest ways ever? Can I break it just like that? I mean, how do I stop this? Alright guys, I think we should backtrack a little on how I got to that point. So, welcome everyone, this is Lolly, and you are watching Hectoberfest 2023, this should be day 12, if I'm not mistaken. What we have here is the AK-47 from the previous videos, and I tried mitigating the eye cancer factor of this room by adding a light and allowing some shades to be cast in the corners. Very, very pleasant for the eye. Or maybe not. So we have this weapon and currently it is behaving as a club or short sword. So the top comment that I got from a lot of different sources is that I should try copying the properties of a bow to this weapon instead of copying a short sword. So let's try doing that and see how this works. And also I must say that Bows don't work unless you give yourself a quiver with arrows, so I will also place that in the player's inventory up and starting a new game. Be right back. Okay, we have the quiver and we have the AK-47. It will look a bit dumb, but yeah, it's an arrow now. Or a bow, rather. And I can shoot arrows. But the main issue here is that when we strike with the bow, it will just shoot one piece of arrow. And also, if I'm not mistaken, it will cost some durability points. You can see that the quiver has 96 out of 100 durability. Okay, uh, what's next? Let's go to the city. And I've got something interesting to show. Ah, look guys, look, I can load any animation to any entity. This is the meditation animation. So this is the animation used when the player is casting a flying eye spell. Does anyone actually use that spell? The guy is in a trance, that's for sure. Let's try a different animation. <sighs> Oh, let me try something. What if I talk with Mr. Levitation here? Carlo is your man. He's our boss. And then he just keeps moving. <laughs> Fellas! What if I replace some of the animations with something that is shorter than what is required for this bow to be pulled back? And that is how I got to the point where I have placed the shortest possible animation for the bow cycles. I don't know why this is happening. Oh my goodness, here we go again. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but the quiver actually broke almost instantly after firing 7 million arrows. I'm surprised that the game can handle this many arrows and not crashing. This ought to be interesting. This is one of the shield animations that I'm loading here. Oh, that's even better! Oh my goodness! Oh. As long as I hold down the mouse button, it's not firing. As soon as I let it go, that's very good, but we need the exact opposite of this. When the boys go to the toilet, That looked interesting, and I don't know why my hand is stuck out like this. That's another subject. Okay, can I do the same? Can I cast a spell? And apparently not. It would have been fun that 
when the player shoots an arrow, then it would also shoot a magic missile. And now multiply that magic missile shooting with all the arrows that I have been shooting with my new AK-47. New improvement, I'm replacing the weight animation of the bow with that previous shield animation. Let's see what happens if I don't have to wait until I press the left mouse button. That seemed to work. Now I don't even need a quiver for this. <laughs> Fellas! What if... I replace the entity model for the arrow. Well now, I'm shooting AK-47s with an AK-47. At least I don't get my ears bleeding with that sound. Chicken. Every bloody day I eat chicken. Had enough. Well, my good sir, this is your lucky day. I have a remedy for this. Here, have some pigs. Pigs. Pigs for everyone. Oh, it's not causing any damage. Okay, guys, I think I have invented the most psychedelic experience of them all. First of all, you have to equip Agba as a weapon. And then try shooting Agba as an arrow. And he's back to the original pose. Hello. Shaney, careful not to fall into this uh, fountain. Hmm. I wonder if I load this into the map, then would there be something that is happening? I don't know if there's any script to it. Probably it's already disabled, but let's just look into it. Let's place it into the city. Shaney, careful not to fall in the fountain. But I'm a big girl now. <laughs> Guys, I restored the fountain. Oh, hello! She fell in it. Uh, well. Ah, Shaney, you little rascal. We told you not to fall into the fountain. Now look at what happened to you. You're a big girl now, aren't you? So this is the fountain of youth. And you can drink from it and I don't know what is happening. Maybe if I damage myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try to fall off something. Two thousand years later. Finally, I got myself almost killed. Okay, quickly now. <coughs> Hi, big girl. Well, what do you know? That actually worked. I got healed. That's quite useful. Or maybe not. Why... Why Why would Shaney not be allowed to fall into this? Maybe then she would become a healthy big girl like so? Okay, that is bloody creepy. Okay, I think I am safe to say that overconsuming caffeine definitely did something bad to me, making me produce this horrid image that you are seeing in front of you. But anyways, I will see you fellas tomorrow with some more nonsense. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <coughs> hey. This is how I usually pee in the morning. Next time I see him, I'll tell him what I really think. Hey, Gordon, check how hard I can piss. Hmm. 
and then I get the comment to stop playing with your piss in the toilet. Violence doesn't solve anything. Fellas!